this is a handlebar. This is a stem. You need both to ride a bike. But uh, which size should you run? Today we're back in the bike lab trying to make sense of handlebar widths, stem lengths, and the effect they have on each other and how your bike rides. So if you want to find out the best combo for you, stick around. All right, this is how I set up the test. I, I need to break this down as simply and easily as my little brain can. Um, so I broke it down into individual parts. Uh, what is a handlebar? What is a stem? What does each of them do? And it sounds super easy. You hold on to a handlebar and a stem holds on to your handlebar as well. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. Uh, widths and lengths can really affect the, the fit and the handling of your bike. So for the test, I am using the new Envy Alloy Stem. Super cool little stem. I have one in a 50 millimeter length and one in a 35 millimeter length. I'm also using the Ibis Carbon Handlebar. It's got these little aluminum inserts threaded into the carbon bar. So with both inserts on, this bar measures 800 millimeters, but it's pretty easy to unthread one of these inserts. And with both of the threaded inserts off, the bar measures 750 millimeters. So it was a really easy way to go back and forth. Whoa. It's a really easy way to go back and forth without having to cut the bar or have two different handlebars. Um, that way it was really easy to keep the position and everything the same. So uh, bar roll and sweep and things weren't really affecting the feel. Things I really paid attention to were fit and feel of the bike. Uh, kind of the geometry and my body position on the bike. I really paid attention to that. I also paid attention to the handling, how quickly it steered, how stable it felt in multiple different scenarios. And then the last thing, it was just kind of overall ride quality of the bike. I guess that's maybe a combo of fit and handling. All right, I am on the short stem, so 35 millimeter stem with the wide bars, 800 millimeter bars. This is kind of the baseline for me. This is pretty close to what I ride. I do think those wide handlebars, you know, they, they're wider, so it's pulling your arms further out, which in turn kind of pulls your chest into the handlebars. So I think on the climbs, it's helping to get my weight forward, but it's probably counteracted by going shorter on the stem. I don't know how much it has to do with height and shoulder width. I'm really tall, I've got really long arms. And I, I still think this 800 is probably a little further apart, you know, than where I'd want to be. Okay, so short stem, wide bars. This should be somewhere in the middle in terms of handling whew, and steering speed. Um, short stem is going to speed it up a little bit. And then the wide bars are going to slow it down a little bit. The wide bars do give this kind of like a bigger feel than what I'm used to. And they do kind of, almost feels like it's pulling my, my weight forward just a little bit. From a handling standpoint, it feels really good. It's stable, but the steering's quick enough. It's not ultra slow. Um, so I, I like it from a handling standpoint. The wide bars are kind of this big, stable feeling platform. And then the short stem counteracts it just a little bit, keeps things lively. So fit also comes into play here. And at 6'2", I'm usually right between a large and an extra large. And I prefer to size up for the most part. Um, so that puts me on an XL 
and I generally have to shorten up my stem just to get the, the position to feel right and the bike to not feel too big. So that's part of it. Um, and right now this setup just feels really good, really close to what I'm used to. Nothing feels weird. From a handling perspective, it's quick enough, but still stable, finds a good balance there. And then from a ride quality standpoint, like I said, it's pretty close to what I ride. So nothing jumps out as weird, and I like it, just feels like riding a bike. But now it's time to go switch setups and start to really feel the differences. Okay, now I am on short stem, 35 millimeters, but the narrow bars. So I took out those inserts on the Ibis bar and dropped from 800 millimeters down to 750. I don't know how long it's been since I've had bars that narrow. It immediately feels very weird. So your, your stem and your handlebar, they both act as levers basically for your steering axis, you know, straight down the middle of your steer tube. So your stem is a little bit of a lever, bars are a bit of a lever. And this setup puts my hands as close as they're gonna get to that steering axis, which is going to make the steering feel quicker. Think about it this way. The really long lever out here, uh, a movement of two or three inches, turns the bars a certain amount. But now I scoot that in, and now a movement of two or three inches turns the, the bars a lot more. Out of all the setups I'm testing today, this should be the fastest steering. There are other things to consider, like fit, um, and just kind of how you feel on the bike, the geometry side of things. This makes the bike feel small. <laughs> Where the last setup with the really wide bars almost made it feel big. This kind of feels small. Like my elbows are tucked in. I feel like I'm sitting more upright and I'm not in maybe quite as stable of a stance. All right, about to hit a downhill. And I'm about 10% nervous <laughs> with the really skinny bars. So immediately on that jump, the bike feels a little more maneuverable. Kind of liked the feel of the narrower bar. It's easier to do that and not hit my chest. <laughs> um, I do feel less stable and less planted on the bike. And the steering does feel quite a bit quicker. In all the corners, I feel a difference. I feel like I have to not quite make that strong movements, like steering just got more subtle. Oh, see right there, I oversteered though. I almost tucked the front of the bike in underneath me. So from a fit and feel standpoint, um, the bike feels smaller for sure. Um, and it feels a little bit less stable. I'd start to call this fast on the steering. I feel like my weight is probably a little more rearward because I don't have the, the wide bars pulling my uh, shoulders or pulling my arms forward a bit more, bringing my chest in. It just feels a little more upright. In these rocks, feels stable enough, but I prefer the wider bar there because as that front wheel jumps around a little bit in the rocks, it's a little easier to counteract those movements. They don't affect the, the steering or the bar quite as much. 
So just as a general wrap up on this, definitely feels quicker. Uh, steering, the handling and steering are way quicker. It does feel slightly less stable, but it feels pretty good um, in corners, jumps, kind of nimble, playful stuff. In the rocks, it feels like maybe I'd want just a little more stability out of my handlebar. Slow that steering down just a tiny bit. All right, now I am on probably the most traditional, the most old school XC setup, which is the long stem narrow bars. It's kind of funny, but the body position on it almost feels the same as what I'm used to. So short stem wide bars. As far as where my weight is front to back on the bike, I, I can feel that my hands are closer together, but as far as how I'm sitting on the bike, it feels quite a bit like what I'm used to. In theory, the, the handling on this setup should feel kind of similar to the short stem wide bars. But now we've got the long stem slowing down the steering and the narrower bars speeding it up, where it was the opposite with the other setup. So again, in the end, it all kind of comes down to how far away your hands are from that steering axis. And this one should be kind of close to short stem wide bars. I do feel now that I'm standing up that my weight is further forward than where it normally is. And my hands aren't quite, whoo, aren't quite as uh, stable and far apart. But to be honest, I thought I was gonna really dislike this feeling and I don't. <laughs> you know, I used to think the XC guys were crazy with their longer stems and narrow handlebars. And yeah, it's not quite as stable. And when you get into steep terrain, your weight's gonna be probably a little further forward than you'd like. And your hands too close together to really control big bumps. But if you're riding kind of normal stuff that most everybody rides, like this is a good setup. <laughs> There's something to it. The XC guys are not crazy. Well, they're crazy, but not when it comes to bars and, and stem length. Okay, here we go with some jumps and drops and things. See if these bars feel stable enough. They feel just fine. <laughs> Honestly, right now they are so far my favorite setup. And I know that's not very trendy or cool to say. But it's the truth right now. We'll see how that changes when I hit some rocky stuff. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> it's not very cool. I probably just lost a whole lot of cool points. But uh, this one's good. Okay, and some of those rocks, I like the forward feeling posture a little bit less. And the narrow bar is just a little bit less. Uh, it feels a little bit less stable. But man, in like corners and that kind of stuff, it actually feels really good. Oh, geez. Went a little deeper on that. I would have liked. Okay, coming into the, the bigger rocks. Still feels plenty good. Okay, yeah. That was the scariest lap through the rocks that I've had. If you're riding rocky stuff all the time, it might not be quite as, quite as awesome. So wrapping up long stem narrow bars. It feels, 
from a handling perspective, like a really good balance between stability and uh, quickness for steering. Um, in the rocks, that forward weight posture wasn't quite as stable or confident. Um, if I rode a lot of rocks, I don't think I'd run this. I think I'd change things up a little bit. The fit kind of feels like what I'm used to with short stem and wide bars. It feels very similar to that in terms of fit. Okay, so immediately this setup feels huge. Um, the stem's pulling my weight a little further forward. The wide kind of sprawling bars are pulling my chest forward and down. And this setup feels big. Um, theoretically, this should be the slowest steering setup. I should be furthest from that steering axis. I am on the long stem wide bars and just out of the gate, I'm feeling more uh, strain through my neck and shoulders, even after pedaling just 30 or 40 seconds. I'm gonna feel that. I'm just pulling my chest pretty far downward. I'm having to tip my head back quite a bit. Weight feels kind of far forward. Bars feel super wide. I feel like my arms are now too far stretched out. I think this has gone beyond the good range for stability. There's quite a bit of leverage with the long bars, so counteracting bumps and things, you've got a bit more control there. But at the same time, the position it puts your arms in, kind of so straight, I don't know if you really get the full benefit. Here we go into some of the the oh, squeaky seat uh, into some of the downhill. Oh, okay, this is different. Oh boy, lost my toolkit. Okay. So this steering gets slowed down quite a bit. And on a bike that's kind of fun and zippy, like the spur, I don't know if that's exactly what I'm going for. You know, coming into corners, see even that one just back there, I had to swing a little bit wider. Um, so I think for a bike like this, it's fun, nimble, zippy to lose that quality um, for me is not ideal. The stable bars, the wide stable bars do feel better in the rocks. There's no doubt about that. So I think if you're running or riding gnarly rocks all the time wider bars are probably going to be a good fit for you see like that felt better than both laps with the narrower bars and i think it's just you're in a more stable planted stance and when that front wheel bounces and moves got a little more leverage to correct that or to absorb that force all right so wrapping up long stem wide bars it, I think it is more stable than long stem short bars um, but the steering just gets a little too slow and you still have that really forward weight posture which is gonna hurt you in the steeps just a little bit um, from a handling perspective, like I said, steering is just a little too slow. It's stable enough, like 
in the rocks it felt okay um, from a fit perspective it's not working for me too stretched out too wide too big makes the bike feel a little cumbersome and especially when I'm seated climbing just doesn't work starts putting too much through my shoulders and neck all right so that's gonna wrap it up for ride impressions I'm gonna head back and try to make sense of all this information Okay, so now we're back. I've done all the testing. Loud truck, I'm gonna wait for that. I never wanna get called out for bad audio in a YouTube video again, you guys are ruthless. All right, I'm back, I've done all the testing. I think I have a pretty good grasp on stem length and handlebar and the correlation between the two and how those will affect the ride quality of the bike. In my ride impressions section of the video, I talked about how the stem and the handlebars are lever arms. It all basically comes down to how far away you're hands are from the center of the steering axis which is you know your steer tube but I, I wanted to see if i was actually right or just making that all up uh, so when i got home i measured from the center of the top cap out to the end of the handlebar and there is something to it um, the furthest distance was the one that i felt was the slowest steering shortest distance was the quickest steering uh, and the other two kind of fell in the middle I also felt in the video that handlebars made more of an impact on handling and fit and everything than the stem did. So I, I broke down all of those numbers and went super nerdy, and uh, this is what I've got for you. So I had a, an overall difference of 50 millimeters on the handlebars and a difference of 15 millimeters on the stem. And I wanted to make sure it wasn't just, you know, that the handlebar measurement was bigger than stem measurement uh, difference, sorry, but it's not. It, from that measurement, from center of the steer out to the end of the handlebar, um, there is a two millimeter difference when I swap stems from 35 to 50 millimeters. But from the handlebar perspective, keeping the stem length the same, there was a 25 millimeter difference in that measurement from the center of the steer to the end of the bar. So on handlebars, it's kind of like a one-to-one -one thing. And then in stem, it's kind of like a two to 15 thing. From a, a steering and handling standpoint, handlebars have more of an effect than uh, stem length does. Body position, I think stem length might actually have a little bit more to do with it than bar length. On the short stem, wide handlebars, I still felt like my weight was pretty centered to neutral once I was standing up. On the longer stem, narrower handlebars, you know, those two semi-comparable setups in feel and handling, I felt like my weight was further forward once I was standing up riding. So I think stem length has a bit more of an effect on body position, where handlebars have a little bit more of an effect on handling. So recommendations. Uh, general all-purpose trail setup. Honestly, the 50 mil stem and I wouldn't go as narrow as 750 millimeters for me. I would probably stick around like 760 to 780. I think that would be a good fit. Um, I think for an all-purpose trail setup, that's great. I think if you are constantly riding steep, gnarly, nasty terrain, kind of the enduro thing, short stem's gonna be nice because it's gonna help you from not being too far over the front of the bike and wider bars. I'd probably do with that like 35, 40 mil stem with 780 millimeter bars. I, I'm really tall, I've got like long arms, semi broad shoulders and 800 millimeter bars are just too wide for me. I like my pinkies the way they are with the bones intact, uh, 800 millimeters, that's a lot of chances to smash your pinky on a tree. Also just from a, a handling and fit perspective, I didn't like it quite as much. So I think kind of 35, 40 millimeters with 780 millimeter bars is gonna be a good kind of aggressive all mountain to enduro setup. I think for a cross country bike, uh, do what the cross country folks do and go long stem, narrow bars, because there is something to it in the way the bike handles and in the body position on the bike. It's, it's actually pretty nice. Again, there's a ton of different opinions on this and it probably does come down to personal preference, the exact bike you're on and how it fits you. So if you have the resources and the time, do a test like I did. It was really eye-opening for me. These Ibis carbon bars are great for it. You buy one handlebar and you can run it at two different lengths rather easily. You can end up cutting the aluminum inserts if you want 
you know, to not jump 50 millimeters. If you want to drop down to 780, you just cut the aluminum inserts. Uh, stems, unfortunately, not really an adjustable stem. You might be buying or borrowing stems to, to run this test, but honestly, it was really eye-opening, and I, I was kind of surprised that I ended up liking that longer stem, narrower handlebar feel for general-purpose trail riding. Uh, you might be surprised as well. Thanks for sticking around. If uh, you think I got it wrong, let me know in the comments below. Again, I'll just make fun of you like, like I normally do. Um, but yeah, thanks for sticking around, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.